Hey, what's up guys, welcome back again to another Clash Royale video and today we're going to talk about the new Clash Royale update uh, that is coming in the next couple days. Now it's not officially confirmed when it's coming but in the game it says that uh, there are going to be some balance changes coming on May 3rd and May 3rd is tomorrow so possibly the update will be tomorrow. Now we've only gotten two sneak peeks so far. Uh, the first one was battle rewards and some things that um, you're, we're, we're gonna get basically better stuff from chests. And the second sneak peek was today announcing six new cards, alright. We're mainly going to discuss about those uh, six new cards because uh, we have some pretty juicy stuff to discuss about. Now, Galadon described the update pretty accurately on Twitter. Here's his tweet. Um, there are leaks everywhere, my man, go subscribe to him, Army of Zeus leaked everything, uh, as I know of, and uh, go subscribe to him, he's a cool guy, uh, he managed to get into the game files and find the new troops uh, before they even, uh, before they were even released officially in the sneak peeks. Alright, so we're firstly going to get three common cards, um, the guards, the fire spirits are in the furnace and I'm not gonna uh, talk about those because every YouTuber has already talked about those. Uh, some pretty cool cards if you wanna watch some gameplay you can go to a YouTuber like Mold, Nick, I don't know, uh, Chief Pat. We're going to talk about the legendary, the legendary cards that are not yet officially announced. Now, Super Soul uh, is going to announce this uh, on the next sneak peek, hopefully, uh, which uh, will be either tomorrow or even later today because the update might drop tomorrow. So first of all we have the Lava Hound, alright. The first legendary card, the new legendary card we're gonna get is the Lava Hound. Now I don't know how this will actually work in Clash Royale. In Clash of Clans it's a dope card, it, it's basically one of my favorite cards, I don't know about you. It's really useful but in Clash Royale now the field is not that big so I don't know how a lava hand can fit in such a small space and of course it won't have that much uh, life, that much, like, that, that much hit points but uh, yeah I'm not really sure if the lava hand will actually work as well as it does in Clash of Clans and something that I didn't really want in Clash Royale because I don't really think that it really fits in such game because the Lava Hound in Clash of Clans just makes the game so much slower whereas Clash Royale is so fast, fast reactions, fast actions and it's basically a fast game so I don't think the uh, Lava Hound will fit but they had to put it in the game because almost every uh, Clash of Clans troop is in Clash Royale, right? So now, the second troop, uh, the second legendary card we're gonna get uh, as leaked by the, uh, by, the uh, by Army of Zeus is the Medic. Now, uh, the name is not confirmed yet, but it's going to be something like the Healer, alright? It's this fat, uh, ugly guy on the top right corner, as you can see. He looks like a policeman. He looks stupid, to be honest. <laughs> and yeah, so a Healer I not exactly like the Clash of Clans healer. Now, in my opinion, the healer in Clash of Clans is one of the most useful, useless, not useful, <laughs> useless um, troops in the game. It only, it only, it's only useful uh, with Queen Walk and shit. But uh, it's a pretty useless card in my opinion, <laughs> and I think that it will work pretty damn well in Clash Royale, right? Because those stupid uh, fireballs and arrows really kill your troops, right? And if the healer can still keep your troops alive, the medic, to be correct, can still keep your troops alive, it'll be a pretty useful card, in my opinion. And last but not least, we're going to get the Shock Charger. This is not the official name, but this is what uh, Army of Zeus, I think, found in the files. And it's this thing on the top left corner. It looks like a Tesla. Now, I know that the picture is not that high resolution. Uh, it was from the files and it's pretty shitty quality but still gets the job done. Um, which, uh, of course, it's not a troop. They had to add, to add a legendary that it's not a troop because every legendary so far is a troop. The princess, the ice wizard, the medic, the lava hound, they are troops, alright? So this will be uh, probably a very good defense since it's a legendary. Um, I hope that it's not something uh, completely useless like the Eagle Artillery they added to class. There was so much hype about the best defense, the Eagle Artillery, but it ended up being complete shit. 
and let's hope that this shock charger will be kind of useful in Royale. Now, uh, we have to wait until the official sneak peeks are out, nothing of this is confirmed yet. Uh, but these were my honest opinions on the update and the new cards. I didn't talk about the previous sneak peeks because you already know about those from other YouTubes. I'm not gonna uh, say even more shit about those because everybody has ranted on them. But these are the three legendary cards that are most likely to come. I'm trusting Army of Zeus on this because he is pretty trustworthy with his leaks. He finds these things in the coding of the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below. Go subscribe to uh, Army of Zeus as well. And yeah, see ya in the next one, guys.